Sakari machuku nae hapa ni askari ambao walikuwa wamefundishwa yani mafunzo ya ukoloni. Tuko na kasomba ya ukoloni. Askari ya mkoloni alifundishwa kutesa mu Afrika. They were meant to rule in the natives. Kwa hivyo askari hapa walikuwa hawatumi ile maadili ambayo inatumia kule Ulaya. Haya askari walifundisha tu kufanya kazi hapa kwa ukoloni. Kule Tanzania Mwalimu Nyerere aliwafundisha ali askari walipopata uhuru askari wakapelekwa shule maalum ya kuangalia watu wao kama binadamu kutumia utu. Kwa hivyo kule Tanzania askari akitaka kushika wewe unakambia wewe ndugu na kuomba ni kushike. Eh? Yeah. ni malizi kitu nafanya anasema tu endelea. Sio. Ukimaliza atakwambia wewe kwa sababu gani? Sio. Ni kama kule Ulaya. Ulaya kule kama wewe unatembea umekipotea njia unakwenda kwa polisi. Naitwa Bobby. Naambie afande can you please show me the way to Trafalgar Square? Oh, Trafalgar Square? Yes. Take a, go straight on. About 100, 100 yards, turn left. Then straight on. 50 yards, right. Straight on, you see it. You can't miss it. And I'm going to say, thank you, sir. And I'm going to say, thank you, sir. And I'm going to say, thank you, sir. I'm going to say, thank Hapa sasa wewe umetoka nje ya Nairobi umekuja umetoka kwa basi alafu ujui pale unaelekea gari yako uende kwa polisi unasema afande nimepotea unyeshi mimi njia kwenda gari yako umepotea ndio eh wapi kitambulisho eh afande au kitambulisho nilivacha nyumbani huna kitambulisho mara moja pingo unajifukuta kule kwa seli kesho unapeleka mahakamani at loitering with the intention to commit a felony sisi unashtakiwa na sasa zinataka kuambia askari askari wewe ni mtumishi ya hao wananchi ile ngumu ya ba ni ushuru yao hiyo hiyo bunduku na beba Msuri yao. Hiyo risasi yiko ndani yake, msuri yao. Hiyo tia gasa na rusha, msuri yao. Nyumba pale unaishi, msuri yao. Mshara unakula, msuri yao. Kwa hivyo shimu. Wanaishi wako shimu shimu na nchi wa Kenya. You need to respect these people. They are your employers. They are the bosses. Sasa kama una nchi wanapata sheria kama kesho vile mshambiwa hapa sisi tumepea notisi kwa polisi kulingana na sheria na katiba yetu katiba yetu katika fungu ya fungu ya kwanza nasema mamlaka katika jamhuri ya Kenya iko mikononi ya wananchi wa Kenya wanaweza kutumia hiyo mamlaka wao wenyewe moja kwa moja au kupitia kwa wa, 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 viongozi ambao wamechagua sasa kwa sababu viongozi wanapiga mnada wanapelekwa ikulu wanapewa rupurupu wanasema mameenda kutafuta maendeleo ikulu ni sababu tumesema tunarudi kwa wananchi watumie hiyo uwezo hiyo funguo ya kwanza direct pili funguo ya saba inasema wa Kenya wako na huru ya kufanya uh, uh, naitwa picketing kwa pamoja kupeleka kumbukumbu petitioning na kufanya maandamano bali ile ya amani sio ni sababu tumesema hiyo maandamano tunafanya ni maandamano ya amani na sheria imekubali kwa bwana kome koma kabisa kesho usileti fujo kome wewe koma usileti fujo 
tunati vurugu unasema ati utaweza kushika kila mtu mimi niko tayari nitakuwa kwenye mstari wa mbele bwana kome hapana tuma askari ndio we mwenyewe tuana na mimi ana kwa ana maana yake tuzipotetea haki na uhuru wa Kenya tutakuwa na, 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 na Kenya Kenya tena ah jamaa nasema bwana Ruto nasema tunataka kuleta anarchy no Mr. Ruto we don't want to bring anarchy in our country but we are fighting for our rights and we have a right to tell the Kenyans the truth because the bible says that self said said the truth and the truth shall the truth shall that's what we are saying Mr. Ruto we have a right the people of Kenya have a right to peacefully demonstrate na itakuwa namna hiyo sisi zote najua kila mara kwa mara nyinyi mnaongea kwa kanisa leo tumeongea kwa kanisa vile vile nyinyi kila mara kwa mara mnaongea kwa kanisa pale nafika kilele mingi zaidi sasa leo tumekujibu tuko tayari kama wanazimio tutaondana ana kwa ana asanteni sana Mungu wabariki.